Hi, I'm David Elder, and today on Elder Eats, I'm taking you guys inside of a burger place, a donut shop, a Greek restaurant, and a Korean-Mexican fusion restaurant. On today's show... I'm not a pork and knife kind of guy. I'm taking you inside the newest donut shop in SA. This place is messy. Plus, we're traveling to San Marcos, Texas for a new Korean-Mexican fusion restaurant. All that, plus a trip to the Mediterranean, and a burger chain that's using Wagyu beef patties. So grab a fork and grab a knife. This is Elder Eats. First stop on today's show is at the iconic San Antonio Riverwalk in downtown SA. Let's go inside the newest donut shop in the Alamo City, Gordo's Public House. Gordo's Public House started out of a vintage Airstream in Austin, Texas back in 2009. We're all about excessive, huge donuts and just like to have a lot of fun with it. Now, they're bringing their indulgent donuts to the Alamo City, like their Southern Clucker, a donut stacked with a red potato pancake, the double breaded fried chicken breast, and topped with a whole pan of cream corn. <laughs> If you're really hungry, I'm talking next level hungry, you get the country clucker. Look at this thing. You got candy jalapenos, you got cream corn, you have a potato pancake, you got fried chicken, and you got a donut on there. That looks good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna, I'm gonna be able to eat this thing, but I'm gonna try. Oh, man. This is life changing. This is like a new religion that you just found and you're like, I'm converted. This is phenomenal. You got those red potatoes in there, still a little rustic. You got the skin on there, so it's great texture. That fried chicken is bomb. I mean, you don't, you might not want to come out to a donut place to get fried chicken, but you should, and you better, because this is where it's at. Awesome on the menu. I'm excited. A donut tribute to Selena. <music> the Bitty Bitty Bon Bon Donut made with purple icing, purple sprinkles, edible pearls, and of course, Bonbons. Well, some say they do anything for Selena, and they're doing it out here at Gordo's. Look at that. That's the bitty bitty bonbon. And they got little bonbons on there. They got the icing, has a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, purple sprinkles. Oh, so. This is like a souped up churro. Over the top. Wow. That makes me want to like. Feet are moving too, you just can't see it. I swear. For chocolate lovers, they have a chocolate lover's dream donut that's stuffed with brownie batter and topped with chocolate icing, brownie bites, chocolate chips, and chocolate sauce. And if you love chocolate, and I'm not talking about kinda, you need like really love chocolate, look at this one. This is like the chocolatiest donut in the world. This is what chocolate lovers have dreamed about. That's just chocolate on chocolate, baby, right there. This place is messy. <laughs> that was a lot of chocolate. This thing is amazing. For those who like CBD, they got you covered. Their super baked donut has CBD infused icing, plus brownie bites, cookie dough, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, chocolate sauce, and potato chips. And they gave me a fork and knife, but I'm not a fork and knife kind of guy. Oh, y'all are crazy. <laughs> My only way of describing it is it's like a super compact, delicious funnel cake, and it's covered with just everything you on the on the whole planet. I mean, there's really nothing else. Look at chocolate just oozing off the side of this thing. Gordo's is amazing. Sup? A new reason for locals to continue visiting the Riverwalk on a daily basis. Well, you guys gotta come out here. Gordo's is opening up this Saturday here on the Riverwalk and just look at all these delicious creations. And there's a lot more on the menu, I'm telling you. There's burgers, there's crazy stuff. There's fried chicken sitting on a donut. What, that's what's happening out here. Come on out here, Gordo's is opening. We're gonna have a big event and you can come get one of these donuts. Come get the Selena donut. Now, we're going to the west side to get an authentic taste of the Mediterranean at Mina and Demi's Greek House. This 
popular Greek restaurant opened its doors in San Antonio back in 1993. Been visiting the restaurant over 20 years. Bye, ladies. Thank you. After working with the owners for 25 years, Chef Chandula took over the business. Oh, I love to cook, and it's something that it takes a lot of commitment. The Greek restaurant makes everything from scratch. We'll start off with pickled grape leaves. Like their hand-rolled pickled grape leaf dolmas that are stuffed with a lamb beef blend and seasonings. That looks really good. After they're stuffed, they get boiled and ready to serve. Everything made fresh in-house. We just saw it all get made right now. I'm going to try maybe all of them. <laughs> Oh wow, the inside has a really great texture. The sauce that's on there is insane. You put that on anything, it's gonna be delicious. This is fantastic. You're gonna end up eating like 20 of these and not know what happened. You're gonna lose track of time. And the restaurant serves up huge plates of their grilled marinated meats. This massive plate of food is called the Hercules. They also have a flaming cheese plate. Perfect for date night. Very hot. Be very careful, okay? But if you're not feeling that hungry, they offer traditional euros served with feta cheese fries. Everything is made with love. It's incredible. And it's a Greek restaurant, so you know you come out, you get these huge euros, and you can get chicken, they have some beef as well, and they also have the euro meat, which I'm going for on this one. Let's try the fries first here. Cheese on fries, but it's making it Greek and it's doing it so very well. This is next level delicious. The flavors are so intense. This is a big old Euro sandwich. Wow. Freshly cut meat. It's a seasoning. It's everything. It's just perfect. And for dessert, Mina and Dimi's Greek house makes a baklava cheesecake that is quite possibly the best cheesecake dessert in San Antonio. Check this out. It is a baklava cheesecake. That just sounds amazing, right? You got that nice crust of filo dough on top that they've made just like baklava has, and that huge slice of cheesecake. I want it all. There we go. This is amazing. It's so rich and creamy and the orange flavor that's on there. This is really, really good. Mina and Dini's makes a wide variety of Greek favorites. All delicious and all made fresh. What separates us is the detail. You can come back any day and it, it will taste the same. Bye guys, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and when you come to grab a bite, make sure you come early because this place gets packed. I'll give you 10 hugs just because the food is that good. <laughs> Coming up, I'm taking you inside a San Marcos Korean Mexican fusion spot making huge burritos. This is like next level tasty. Plus, later in the show, I'm taking you to a burger spot that's using Wagyu beef patties. This is delicious. So stay tuned right here on Elder Eats. We're driving north to San Marcos, Texas, home of the Texas State Bobcats, Outlet Malls, and the Korean-Mexican fusion restaurant, Casa Choi. Casa Choi is serving up authentic scratch-made Korean food with a Mexican twist. Casa Choi is like a fusion place, a Korean, a Mexican food, like all the protein is like a char-grilled Korean barbecue style. Their combinations are strange, but delicious. Like their bulgogi breakfast taco loaded with eggs and torched cheese. I mean, and that just looks phenomenal. That food is delicious. <laughs> you can tell that everything has just a, a big punch of fresh flavor to it. Y'all are crazy. Their marinated bulgogi is made fresh daily. along with their spicy pork and spicy chicken. Taco burrito thing is like pretty pretty huge in Texas. And then I know how to cook Korean food, barbecue, so yeah, I mixed it up. Their menu is build it yourself style with options to pick and choose. So I went with the spicy chicken quesadilla made with mozzarella. using mozzarella cheese, so you know you're gonna get a lot of good cheesiness to it. They're torching the top to give it that oven-baked flavor. 
spicy chicken with the cheese like this. This is like next level tasty. This is like stop talking and just enjoy it good. Another great combination is their spicy pork burrito made with fried rice, house-made salsa, and sour cream. Check this out. This is a spicy pork burrito, and this thing is big. When it's all together, look at that. <laughs> That's a big old burrito. I'm gonna unwrap it like Christmas. Pour that salsa right on top. Ooh. A lot of really good flavored rice. The pork, it is spicy. So if you don't like spicy, you gotta watch out. That's really, really good. And of course, nothing says Korean Mexican fusion like a bulgogi taco made with lettuce, corn, onions, house made spicy mayo, and house made teriyaki sauce. Bulgogi breakfast taco is good. I'm sure this one's gonna be just as good, if not better. That taco puts you in a happy place. I mean, the teriyaki sauce, you just saw it's made in the house as well. Spicy mayo made right here, so you really just, everything has that really great hint of freshness to it. If you find yourself in San Marcos, Texas, looking for a delicious restaurant serving unique food, look no further than Casa Choi. Burritos, quesadillas, tacos, all with a Korean flair to it. Next on Elder Eats, I'm taking you inside a burger chain that's serving up Wagyu beef patties and a way you can get a discount on your next meal. The last stop on our journey today is on the north side at the California burger chain, Burger M. The food was delicious. Especially impressed with the number of choices that you have, whether it be the meats or the toppings that you put on your burgers. Burger M, not Burger Eam or Burger I-M, is a chain known for making many burgers with tons of flavor and lots of options. That's why we fell in love with this franchise. It wasn't just a run-of-the-mill burger joint. Like their one-third pound classic cheeseburger made with a charbroiled patty, lettuce, tomatoes, onion, and cheese. Now when you come out here, you may be thinking, oh, David, those burgers, they're too small for me. I want something bigger. Well, check this out. <laughs> they got those covered too. This is a third pound beef patty burger. And look at the size difference. I mean, this is just a monster of a burger. And they make these here. They're patting them up and everything, putting them right on the grill fresh for you. Look at the char on that on the outside. Wow. But this burger patty, you will not find this anywhere else. This is delicious. That's a great burger. Franchisee Chris Branchicio knows a thing or two about restaurants, having grown up in his family's iconic San Antonio restaurant, Naples. Here's my grandfather had Naples Italian restaurant on Broadway from 1950 to 1980. Uh, I tried to revisit that as my father was one of the original cooks and we had some good success. Chris's goal now is to serve San Antonio great burgers, like the salmon mini burger made with avocado and fresh greens. This one looks good too, and it's salmon. Extremely refreshing, and the salmon patty has a great salmon flavor to it. It's not fishy, it's not overdone. Also on the menu, a Wagyu beef patty you can customize any way. Looks like a classic cheeseburger, because that's what it is. It's their classic burger, it's using their Wagyu beef patties, and it's a little mini burger. It fits right in the palm of your hand. This is the one you need to order. Wagyu beef, classic. Don't play games. This is a great burger. The restaurant is a tucked away fun spot for the whole family. The french fries are different, but they're fantastic. Even this little guy wanted in on some of that food too. They serve milkshakes, onion rings, sweet potato fries, potato chip fries, and ice cold beer. We love Burger And starting now, mention that you saw them on Elder Eats and get 15% off your entire order at the Park North location. They got four televisions in here. You can get chicken wings and you can get beer and burgers. Why wouldn't you watch a Spurs game here? This is great. So thanks to everyone who's on the show today, Mina and Demi's Greek House, Burger M, Casa Choi, and of course Gordo's, where you can come out on the Riverwalk this Saturday and get these amazing donuts. Just look at these things. This is a beyond donut, okay? You guys can come out here and don't forget to watch SA Live Monday through Friday. You guys can check little insights into what's going on on Elder Eats, and you also can follow me on social media, at Elder Eats, and you guys can get little pictures, different stuff like that, little behind the scenes looks, and it's just a lot of fun. And I'm gonna keep eating these though, because why not, right?
They look delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm. That place is messy. Mmm. <laughs> Hold on. That is a lot of chocolate. Wow. Okay. I think that's why they gave me a fork and knife. I don't know. Oh, it's like staining my face now. <laughs>